630 on channel 957. With Connie and the birthday boy. Hello, it is me. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you're wondering. It's me, the birthday boy. It is me. Uh, my day started out kind of. Is that a new shirt? Uh, no, I've had this shirt. I've, I've seen this shirt. Nick has seen this shirt. It, it reminds me of a poster that my brothers had from the 70s that. Uh, all, <laughs> 70s shirt. Okay. That all the black lines in the poster were velvet. Yes, and, then and the these rest, are velvet. Are they? Yes, here, give it a oh, touch. I love it. Did you get it in the 70s? Uh, yeah. Huh. It's, it's my, just like a poster. It's my uh, my fancier shirt, so I'm wearing it today because like I'm, I'm going out for lunch. Because it's your birthday. Uh, with Katie today, so I wanted to do birthday. that. Yes, and uh-huh. then when I get home, I have to change the battery in one of the 30 smoke detectors in my house. Was it beeping this morning? Started at about, uh, I don't know, 217. <laughs> that's annoying. Beep. Yeah, that's so annoying. Beep. <laughs> you're in one room and you're like, I think it's in here. And then you hear it behind birthday. you. Yeah. <laughs> and you're in the next room and you're like, Oh, I didn't, oh, I no, didn't get it's up. It's not here either. I, oh. woke, I woke up to it and thought it was my alarm. So I was like, oh, my alarm. Okay. And then I was like, no, it's 217. That's not my alarm. And I went back to sleep. Mm-hmm. And uh, then like three something, beep. I'm like, <laughs> thought it was my alarm again. I must have been drifting close enough mm-hmm. to consciousness where I'm like, oh, my alarm's going off. No, just that pesky smoke detector. That is annoying. So then I went back to sleep, and uh, then the alarm woke me up. But, but that's good, though. Yes, that it's alerting me to the yes, fact that, that it if, needs a battery. If there's a fire right now, like, my family will die because the smoke detector yes. isn't working. Yes, Because I didn't change the battery. Right. Only if they're in that one room, though. You said you got a bunch of them. Oh, my goodness. And they're all attached. Like, they all are connected to it's each gonna other. It's going to drive your family insane this morning. Well, the last time, <laughs> we couldn't figure out which one uh-huh. was off. So the last time, it took us probably two days to figure out. We Because we would be standing under it, and we would think we would hear it, and then we'd change the battery, and then beep. <laughs> like, what is happening? So annoying. So uh, we'd take that battery out and put another one in. Beep. All over the place. It's annoying. So, you know? Uh, you know how I'm usually calm and collective? Yes. There's no fire or smoke detectors in my apartment right now. Oh, my goodness. Because Nick, you need smoke. <laughs> I do need to put some new ones yes. in. Yes. But I, I physically broke them because they were driving me crazy. As soon as you start cooking anything, <laughs> oh, they, they go off. Go off completely. Okay. You guys need a window. Yeah, we have some windows. It's not. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you cracked a they window. They were so, so super sensitive. Okay. I threw it Nick. out the door. Nick. Uh, from the second story. Nick. What are you cooking? Go home today and fix them. No. And I'm not kidding. He's fine. No, I'm he's gonna get, not I need fine. to get new ones. I mean, they're done. Go home today <laughs> and, buy and buy them. Here's the deal, though. They're super cheap. My mom, uh, hers broke. It, well, she thought that it broke. Mm-hmm. It turns out it was not broken. Uh, but one of her coworkers convinced her that it was broken. Okay. So she went and bought a new one at like Lowe's or Big yeah. Lots or somewhere. Who knows where she got it? Yep. And uh, said, okay, I'm going to put this in. And her coworker told her, no, no, you can't put that in. You have to wait until Curtis gets there to put it in. So she had it from September until I got there for Thanksgiving sitting on her countertop <sighs> because her coworker had said that she couldn't do it. So the battery was in. That's where the smoke alarm was on her counter. <laughs> And I said, what do you mean? She uh, said you couldn't do this. And she uh, she said, oh, no. She said that you needed to do it. And I said, Mom, all I'm going to do is pop this one off, screw this one on, right. and I'm done. Was her coworker like an older woman? Yes. Okay. And then my mom is an older woman, so it's these two old biddies talking over bingo. <laughs> Your mom's about, not that old. And she's like, what, 80? No, she's not. How she's in her she? 60s, Curtis. Is she 47? She was born. So she's 76? I don't know. I think she's in her seventies. I think, I think she's in her seventies. She's ninety-seven. <laughs> Stop! I'm gonna have to start over. Every day is a blessing. Two thousand seven. She is sixty-seven years old. Okay, so she's sixty-seven. See, she's not an old. Bee. So she doesn't know. So they they knit and do needlepoint and talk about how they can't possibly put a smoke alarm anywhere, but just on the kitchen countertop. Uh, so I said, "Well, does your house have two seconds? Our whole old house uh, in Wisconsin was new." So okay. it had those connected? Oh, yeah, mine are connected. Okay, see, our house here is like 30 years old. Okay. So they're not connected. So Dan went out and bought all the individual ones. It only had like two in it, though. Oh. So Dan went out and bought all it. So every room has one now. Good. So they're not connected. So those connected ones. Are annoying. They're, they're kind of annoying. Yeah, so I mean, annoying. They are annoying. I mean, Nick, you think that you throw a smoke detector out because your kitchen uh, starts buzzing? I didn't throw it out. I threw it 
out That's the door. That's what I mean. Like, you yeah. tossed it. Now imagine <laughs> if you were up in the bedroom and somebody burned some fudge or something, and then beep, beep, and you're like, what the heck is going on? And you look all around for a fire, and there is none. It's a, <sighs> it's a stupid pepperoni pizza that dripped onto the bottom of the oven, and you're like, this is the worst invention ever. Nicholas. It, it will happen. It doesn't need to, Nick. You're fine. It Just do- don't play Curtis, with matches. Stop it. He'll be fine. Stop it. You need to go get one. What well, you need if there is a fire, two. there's not enough room that we couldn't find it right away. There's there's like two rooms. Right. And also, that is not the point. <laughs> two words. Gosh. Flame retardant. You need to start wearing flame retardant clothing. That way, you don't need a smoke detector. You just will see the fire. And it'll stay nice and quiet in there. And two more words. Of glove, you get an of glove, you can pat out any fire that's happening. You guys. Can you imagine my cats in fire retardant gear? <laughs> yes, they would love it. Or you would have hairless cats. Oh. Either because you would shave them. Not, no, you're, oh, not okay. <laughs> you're not singeing their hair, Nick. Uh, one singed his own hair off the other day. What did he get? What did he find? He just sat in uh, on the record player above a candle, okay. and his tail was just. Pe- Waving above the fire. It right. is. Go buy a damn smoke See? detector. I didn't Thank know. You. I didn't know. Thank you. I didn't know that he had suicidal cats no living kidding. in his apartment. Nick. Hey, let's light myself up. And fire. he's laughing. Right <laughs> meow. Ugh. Not funny. No. Go That's get a, one. It's a little funny. It's irresponsible homeownership. How does a cat react when he lights his own tail on fire? He didn't do anything. He didn't care. He didn't care. <laughs> did he even know? Well, was it just the fur or did it, it was go just down the to the yeah, cartilage? He, had, he has very straight hair and it was just all curly <gasps> on the on his tail. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> that is pros- possibly the best birthday story I've ever heard oh, in my life. Thank you, Oh, gosh, Nick. Nicholas. Because you would think the cat's like, do you smell? Do you smell something? Ah! <laughs> it's my tail. But no, he just sat there. Just sat there. Rolling on the record player, spinning around. Here we go again. <laughs> Little Miles Davis That's playing. what I visualized, too. Was the record player on? No, it was It was, it was a t- lid okay. record oh, player, yeah. so he was sitting on top of the yeah, lid. Yeah, I thought it was on, and he was mm-hmm. spinning. Like, He'd probably break it. He's kind of big. Oh. So what are you doing today, Nick? I am going to buy a smoke detector. Yay! And then are you going to put a battery in it and put it up? Oh, that's a whole different process. Exactly. Yeah. We'll just make sure you get a battery in it at least. And set it somewhere. And set it somewhere. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to ask you to you know, put it up today necessarily, no. but just get a battery Don't in it. Don't you have a landlord? Isn't that their job? That is their job. Well, call the landlord. Well, then I have to admit that I broke all his. You just did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't listen to this show. Well, send him the tape. Yeah. He doesn't, well, he might listen. He doesn't know that this is his Nick. Oh, okay. If yeah. you have the stairs that your tenant never shovels on the way down to the And he has to, to walk laundry. outside, and their names are Nick and Gina with four cats. I mean, how many Nicks it's, and Ginas? It's this guy. <laughs> how many Nicks and Ginas with four cats have a scenario like if that? If you drive up to your uh, your uh, a building that you own, and you found a smoke detector <laughs> in the grass that someone had thrown out of a window. This is your Nick. This is your Nick. Mm-hmm. This is your guy. If he ever gave you food and there was a ton of cat hair in yeah. it. <laughs> or like half of the food was eaten by cats. <laughs> you never know. It's probably from Nick. Oh, this Nick. Oh, gosh. Nick, you're just dirty. Oh, you're not dirty. I'm, I'm clean. Yeah, but your apartment just sounds so... <laughs> I live on the <laughs> edge, though. So dirty. You burn everything you cook. I mean, your cat... Got- yeah. Poor kitty. Burning his tail. That's hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? That's Connie funny. and Curtis.